Hello and welcome to Infinity. Yes, look, I'm wearing a shirt and tie. I'm going to a meeting afterwards. First of all, let's do this. So we're going to do with the clone brush, all the stuff up here. We've already covered this lot up to the blend modes, which is in the brush basics videos. Then we've done this sources in another video here. So we're going to cover this lot. So let's start off. Let's go down to here and I'm going to Alt click on that person there and now I'm going to start copying over here um, if your cursor disappears just press the right button that works so here we go I'm going to copy them here there we go and I can always go to the undo brush and tidy up the edges so and that, and that works quite well and in, in particular, what we can do with this is, um, if I'm doing this copy again, so I Alt click here, I can do another copy here. But what if I suddenly go, oh, hang on a moment, or I just move the mouse about, about how do I, can I come back? Yes, I can, I can always come back. And it's because if you look over the top of the railings there, you can see a little plus moving around, because that's the same distance away from my cursor all the time. So wherever I go, it'll be the same. However, if I uncheck the aligned, now I can certainly alt click here to start this off. But if I take my cursor off, then look, I can still see the hat there following. And where's the plus? The plus has gone back here. It's sort of got an elastic band back to its original position. This means I can go anywhere I like and paint this in and do the same anywhere else as well. So it gives you that kind of different use. Um, so normally put on a line, that's why otherwise you can do lose a bit if you take your mouse off the button. Rotation, 180 degrees. So I'll Alt click here and guess what I can do an upside down picture yep so rotation just lets you rotate it's particularly useful in things like graphics and so on when you're doing patterning etc let's put that back to naught scale you can make a picture bigger so let's put say 500 in there you can also make it smaller all the way down to to one percent I'll make this big here and I'll alt click there and make my brush bigger and now I've got I can paint here a bigger version so you can use this to paint things in the foreground and copy things backwards and forwards it's particularly useful for things like that if you've got like a tree or something like that and you want to have it in the distance and another copy sort of closer in then you can do that so that makes that uh, a handy sort of tool even something like down here where you've got this sort of disappearing if you're copying a bit of this here down here you do want to shrink it a bit and the scaling lets you do that last of all flipping and it does pretty much what you expect to do you can flip horizontally vertically or both at the same time so if I go zero, I get the scale back to 100 there. And I'm going to Alt click here and paint over here. Guess what? I'm going to get a reversal of that picture. Yeah, so it's literally flipped it horizontally. I could flip it vertically and so on. So there we go. Here are the things we can do aligned. Make sure that your whether the little plus follows your cursor or whether it goes back to where it started. Rotation, rotate, scale makes bigger and smaller, good for moving things in the distance and flipping flips. So thank you very much for watching.